Hey guys, Dennis back with a brand new video. So today I'm going to show you how to make fire starters at home. So I have my sidekick Gavin here. This is my son. What's he's gonna, up? And he's going to help me and we're going to make fire starters from scratch. So I'm sure you've all seen those Duraflame fire starters. Well, if you didn't know, those actually have kerosene in them, so they're kind of toxic. You know, they do work well, but I'm going to show you an alternative that you can make at your house with some sawdust or with some wood chips and all natural beeswax. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see how well these homemade fire starters work. All right, so we're gonna make this in two ways here. So we're gonna use sawdust for one batch and we're gonna use wood shavings for the other batch. Now we're gonna start with the sawdust first. So what I do is I just take these beeswax pellets and we're just gonna mix a bunch in with the sawdust. And we'll mix this around by hand until we get a pretty even consistency. And we want it not quite half and half. We want more sawdust than beeswax and you want it to a point where it looks pretty evenly mixed so all we do now is we basically just scoop this up and then we'll set those to the side so we're going to do the wood chips now and that's a little bit different of a process so what we're going to do is you can either like break this stuff up what i also like to do is i like to just take a bunch of these and just set them down inside of here all right they're already curled up and you can just jam them in here like that and then what we do as we just take some of this beeswax and then fill in all of those voids that are inside of there like this. And then we'll take some more, put some more on top. And we just fill this in. And then when we heat these up in the oven, this all just melts together. And then what the wax does is the wax makes this burn slower when you're initially starting your fire. Can make, make some more of these? Yeah, let's make some more. All right, so we're just gonna make a bunch of these now. And what I like to do is I like to put them on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. And that just keeps the, the wax from getting on the cookie sheet. And then we'll throw these in the oven. All right, and as you can see, we made about 60 of these total. All right, and then I just store them in one of these Uts pretzel containers. And then they stay nice and dry. And then I can grab a handful when I'm going camping, or I could bring the whole container with me if I want. All right, so this is the one with the wood shavings. This is the one with the sawdust. This one's a lot heavier, I'm noticing. So I anticipate this one to burn a lot longer. guys and as always thanks for watching our video if you like this and you're gonna make some of these yourself let us know down in the comments below also let us know which ones you think perform better I think the results speak for themselves but until next time thanks for watching make sure to hit that like button it helps us out and consider subscribing if you're not Bye. Bye.